It's no secret that Chinese automakers are taking the lead in electric vehicles. The main market for electric vehicles is China, where EV sales accounted for a quarter of the market last year, compared with less than 6% in the United States. From a long-term perspective, in electric vehicle batteries, the industry generally believes that sodium can become an alternative or supplement to lithium. In fact, the research on sodium battery technology began to rise in the 1970s, initially dominated by the United States. Japanese researchers made significant progress in this area more than a decade ago, and Chinese companies have since played a leading role in commercializing the technology. Now, among the sodium battery factories planned or under construction in the world, China accounts for the vast majority. Specifically, of the 20 sodium battery factories currently planned or under construction in the world, 16 are in China. In two years, China will have nearly 95% of the world's sodium battery capacity. In the future, the combination of the industrial accumulation of Chinese lithium battery manufacturers and the first mover advantage of sodium batteries, coupled with the huge demand of China's world's largest battery market, is likely to continue to drive the continuous update and iteration of sodium battery technology and maintain a continuous leadership in the battery field. Ten years from now, America may once again have reason to bewail its reliance on Chinese battery technology and demand to know what happened. So, to what extent has China's sodium battery technology progressed, and what impact will sodium batteries have on the overall battery industry? Well, that and more is exactly what we are going to talk about, let's get started. Lithium is abundant, but difficult to extract and purify for use in batteries. Last year, the price of lithium carbonate peaked at over $80,000 per tonne, although it has come down considerably since then. Sodium is also abundant, but unlike lithium, is readily available. For instance, the price of sodium carbonate is around $300 per ton today. Sodium one of the primary components of table salt is chemically similar to lithium, and thanks to the explosion in lithium carbonate prices, many companies are researching ways to use it to replace lithium in the batteries for electric vehicles. On the other hand, sodium batteries are much less affected by low temperatures and appear to be able to handle more charge-discharge cycles than lithium-ion batteries. That is to say, sodium batteries come with a big advantage, they keep almost all of their charge when temperatures fall far below freezing, something lithium batteries typically do not do. In addition, the latest sodium batteries do not require scarce materials like cobalt and nickel. Both CATL and BYD say they are about to introduce EV battery packs that have a mix of lithium-ion and sodium-ion cells. The thinking is the sodium cells will address the low temperature performance issue and the lithium cells will take care of the need for good performance in daily driving. Well, in a word, compared with lithium batteries, the advantages of sodium batteries are low cost and abundant resources. Compared with lithium batteries, the cost of materials is 30% to 40% lower, and the reserves of sodium are more than 400 times that of lithium, but the disadvantage is that the energy density is not high. The greater the energy density of the battery, the more electricity stored per unit mass or unit volume, which is an important indicator for judging battery performance. Once the sodium battery makes up for the energy density problem, it will realize partial replacement of lithium batteries. Such industry leaders as CATL, which has already announced the acquisition of sodium ion battery passenger car customers, and BYD, which has mastered the battery and vehicle links, may be the biggest beneficiaries of the growth dividend of sodium ion batteries. The New York Times points out that because sodium ion batteries have lower energy densities, more of them are needed to equal the energy capacity of lithium-ion batteries. That means more space is needed for a given amount of energy. That's a problem for use in vehicles, but not an issue for grid-scale battery storage. Utilities that switch from lithium to sodium can simply put twice as many big batteries in an empty lot near solar panels or wind turbines. 
The Inflation Reduction Act passed by Congress last August was designed primarily to offset China's dominance of lithium-ion battery production worldwide. The New York Times says a switchover to sodium-ion batteries may make China's control over battery manufacturing even greater. Of the 20 sodium battery factories now planned or already under construction around the world, 16 are in China. In two years, China will have nearly 95% of the world's capacity to make sodium batteries. Lithium battery production will still dwarf sodium battery output at that point, but advances in sodium are accelerating. There is one problem for China, however when it comes to manufacturing sodium batteries. It controls much of the sources for lithium worldwide, but has little access to the soda ash that is the source for the sodium needed to manufacture batteries. The United States accounts for over 90% of the world's readily mined reserves for soda ash. Beneath the southwestern Wyoming desert there is a vast deposit of soda ash that was formed 50 million years ago. For centuries, it has been mined to meet the needs of America's glass manufacturing industry. With minimal natural reserves of soda ash and a reluctance to rely on imports from the United States, China instead produces synthetic soda ash at chemical plants fueled by coal. Yes, you read that right. China will power its sodium ion business with coal. We swear we are not making this up. As if that wasn't bad enough, China's synthetic soda ash industry has a record of hazardous water pollution, which includes the collapse of a pile of alkali slag in east central China in 2016 that washed away cars and fouled a major river. The country's environment agency is working to clean up the industry. Sodium is an attractive alternative to lithium because it costs only 2 to 3 percent as much as lithium. Imagine what that price difference could mean to the price of new electric vehicles. It is also largely immune to the decrease in performance that bedevils lithium-ion batteries today. But sodium-ion technology is about where lithium-ion technology was a decade ago. That doesn't mean it won't get better over time, but it does suggest there are a lot of things that can happen in the meantime. For instance, the price of lithium could continue to decline as new sources are discovered and the fruits of the IIA begin to kick in. The fact that there is so much soda ash available in the US is probably the primary reason to pursue sodium ion technology. If America wants to decouple from China when it comes to batteries, sodium may be the route to go. But virtually all the basic research into sodium ion batteries is taking place in China at the present time. Due to the low threshold for lithium battery manufacturers to enter the field of sodium batteries, China's lithium battery industry has formed a complete industrial chain from materials and batteries to car companies and energy storage integrators. Therefore, all aspects of sodium batteries have also entered the production stage from laboratory research and development. Therefore, the judgment that sodium batteries will increase China's overall advantages is correct. Now the industry leader in China is taking the lead in technological innovation and iteration. In the future, as long as the energy density of sodium batteries reaches the same level as lithium batteries, then various lithium battery manufacturers in China can follow up and copy, and can quickly achieve huge production capacity. That has to change if America wants to steal a march on its newest adversary, but will it? From everything we hear, Nobody outside of China is paying much attention to the possibility of using sodium-ion batteries for vehicles or energy storage, although the DOE is conducting some research on the subject. In China, dozens of government-funded labs are working on sodium batteries. Ten years from now, America may once again have reason to bewail its reliance on Chinese battery technology and demand to know what happened. Okay, that's all for today. Please put your comments below and share your insightful ideas with other people. Do you want to learn about more auto stories? Please keep following our channel and like our videos. Thank you so much for your continuous support. Your precious time with us is highly appreciated. See you.